There was some discussion for E on the 2023 graphic paper. So this is an axonometric question. The axonometric axis required for the isometric projection of the garden are shown below. So we've got our axis there. The elevation in view and incomplete axonometric projection of the lantern are given. So we've got our elevation and our in view. Okay. And they want us to complete the, the axonometric projection. So we'll start with the basic shapes. We've got a cube shape. Double check that this is all correct in 30 degrees. It is. So we've got a cube, white is a cube here, projected forward, white is there, projected forward, and I can project here forward. So now it's going to give me an edge. I can project this forward, and that will give me that. Right, so Okay, so that's the outline of the cube, right? We can draw on there, but we don't need it. And now I'm going to project up that top part of the pyramid. So I'm going to so, the pyramid forward like so. So there's my top of the pyramid. And I'm going to join that back to each of the four corners. Just about make up that side. Down to the and I'll, I'll put in the outline of the back there. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the basic shape. Now we're on to the slightly more difficult thing is our circle uh, part. So we want to find that circle there. What I need to do is talk about elevation and end elevation. What they have in common are heights. So here's my elevation, here's my end elevation. Oh, I'll put it a little closer there. What they have in common is heights. Okay? So um, this is my circle. This is what I'm trying to find. Okay, if I'm looking in here, that is the same circle, just as an edge view, right? But I need to, I need to show that the heights there are the same. So I can find points here on my circle, and then I can find their heights then in the other view. So the circle is going to be on this edge, okay? This circle is on this edge, that's the same view as it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find points. We've got top and the bottom, we've got two sides, and okay, I pick points going out. Actually, these are vertical measurements. Okay, that would be easier. Okay, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this, quickest way. So I'm going to find the top and bottom of my object first of all. So top, let's direct these out to the sides so we have those in the reference height. There, that's one height, both the center height, that's top height. I'm just going to go two more heights in between on that. So one, two, and then the same in this bottom half. One, and two. Okay, so we have all these heights now that we want to carry up. Okay, we'll call that H1, H2, H3, H4, H5. Six and H seven. Okay, so H one, H 
each one. That's two. Take them from the bottom again. That's three. Four. Six. Seven. Okay, so I'll label them H one, H two, H three, H four, H five, H six, H seven. Okay. So points then we go point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, all points running around the outside. Okay. So <coughs> I'm gonna project start with point one there. And point one is at a height of seven there, so it's seven. So project that forward, so that's my Point one. Height are point twelve and two are both at that height six, so project going forward. Twelve plus two. And I'll just project forward all these heights just to make it a little bit quicker for us. So three is at the same height as five there, and say it's so eleven. So we'll go forward onto that height, and there. So that's my eleven. That's my three. H four. Project to there. And ten. Forward onto there. That's ten. Four. Five. And nine. Nine. Six. And eight. We're just matching up with these heights all the time. And seven goes forward to there. Eight, seven, and six. Okay, so it's all about understanding that we've got heights in common between the two groups. So let's draw my three on sketch then. So one curve. Okay, so that is the axonometric question. Okay, and we're dealing with a curve. Okay, pretty straightforward if you understood uh, the heights of 